Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Creating Models Multiplying Fractions. Today we're going to talk about how to draw a model to represent a multiplication fraction problem. Let's start by first drawing a model of two-thirds. I'm going to start with a box, and I'm going to cut it into rows. I'd like three rows because the denominator tells me how many pieces to cut it into. After I create my three rows, I then need to shade some of them. For that, I'll look at my numerator. Because this is two-thirds, I'm going to shade two of my three rows. So this fraction just shows two out of three rows are shaded. Next, I'm going to multiply that by another fraction, one-fifth. I'm going to draw this box separately, but this time, instead of making rows, I'll make columns. So I'm going to split this one going up and down into five pieces because the denominator here is five. Then I'm going to look at the numerator to see how many to shade. Because my numerator is one, I'll only shade one of these columns. In order to create a multiplication problem, I'm simply going to put both of these together. So here I see I have one out of five columns shaded, and now I'm going to put my models together. When I stack them like this, I can see the product. I'm going to first look at what has both shadings. So I only have these two right here with both shadings. Next, I'm going to look at how many total boxes are here. Well, since there's five going across and three going up and down, my total boxes are 15. So my fraction 2 thirds times 1 fifth is going to be equal to 2 fifteenths. Let's try another problem. This time, we're going to try to create this problem in a third box. So let's first draw 1 fourth. And it's important to note that it doesn't matter which fraction is horizontal, which factor is horizontal or vertical, as long as there's one of each. And remember, a factor is just talking about each one of the pieces that you're multiplying together to get your answer, which is the product. So for one fourth, I'll start with my box and I'm going to cut it into four pieces like the denominator says. So I'll still do rows here. And then I need to shade only one because the numerator one tells me how many to shade. It doesn't matter if you shade on the top or the bottom, as long as one of your pieces is shaded. Notice that I used the word of here. So I have this fraction of another fraction. That's because multiplication also means the word of. So here I have another box. Because I cut this one into rows, I'm gonna have to cut this one into columns. So here I have three, so I know that I'm going to split it into three sections. And my numerator is one again, so I'm only going to shade one of those. This time, instead of just combining them, I'm going to redraw it over here, because this is how you'll be drawing your fractions. So I'll start with my first factor of one fourth. And then I noticed for here, I'm going to be drawing two lines to split this into groups of three. So I'm going to put that right here, one line, two line. Next, because I only shaded this column, I'm going to pretend like these rows are not here and shade just this one column. And this will give me my product. Here, I only have one that has both shadings, but I have 12 total boxes. So that gives me a fraction of 1 12th. For our next example, we'll start with 2 fifths. And I just prefer to do rows always first, but you don't have to do it like that. So here I'm going to split this into five rows. And then I need to shade two of them because the numerator tells me how many to shade. Then I'll simply draw one half. Now this means two fifths of one half. For my one half, I only have to cut it into, uh, I only have to draw one line to cut it because that will put it into two pieces. And then I'll shade one of them. And then in my final drawing, I'm going to start with my first factor and then just make this final cut going up and down. And remember, I'm shading one column, so ignore the rows. Just look at one, two columns. I want to shade one of them. 
Here I can see I have two pieces out of a total of 10. So two tenths is my answer. And don't forget that you need to simplify any time that you have a factor in both a numerator and a denominator. So here I have a common factor, a greatest common factor of two. So I would divide two by two to get one and 10 by two to get five. So one fifth is the answer. Let's wrap up. For multiplying fractions with models, you're going to first create a horizontal row or model for the first factor. Next, you would create a vertical or column model for the second factor. Stack your pictures and the product or your answer. For the numerator, it will have two shadings and the denominator is the total number of boxes. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to click to subscribe for this and other videos. Until next time!